Hello there, my fellow brick stackers. It's Chris, and I'm coming to you with a massive Lego haul. Uh, went to Walmart, two Walmarts actually, but one is where most of this came from, and it's the Walmart that I constantly complain about that being unorganized, nothing marked down, and it still has sets that are on the shelf that should be marked down, and they're not. Uh, but I'm not going to complain today, as you'll see why in this upcoming video. So. Keep in mind, most of everything here came from one Walmart. So we'll start off with something simple. Uh, about a month and a half ago, Kelly from YouTube and Instagram, Kelly N, let us all know, I think it was Kelly, I think it was, uh, I think it was about these books, the DK Publishing sticker books were half off. Well, I said, you know what? I uh, rang up a couple of other ones that were out and they didn't have any stickers on the front right here. Okay, but they rang up full price like 12 bucks. So you see it says $12.99 US. Now, this is Walmart. But I found a few that still had these 650 stickers on them. I said, you know what? I used to work at Walmart when I was in high school and I know what they have to do. They have to honor this sticker price. So at one Walmart, I was only able to find two and it was the Lego movie and the Amazing Minifigure Ultimate Sticker Book. And they rang up full price and the manager gave me them for sticker price. And then when I went back to the next Walmart, I uh, have two more in a bag right here. Here they are. I got four more, which I almost walked out. They took forever to come back. Got four more of the Lego Movie for six fifty. So I use these when I have my orders through Bricklink. I put a sticker in each order. And so that gives me 6,000 more stickers for my collection. So I've got a collection of these books somewhere here, but set those uh, on the floor by you somewhere. As you can see here in a minute, I'm fixing to run out of room real quick. Now, uh, by the time you see this, you've already seen the massive Lego haul that I made at uh, a Walmart near me to where I was able to buy everything 50% off clearance price. And I found a few more of those during that little shopping spree. And I found this is the last one at this Walmart. It was $35. I went in and picked it up. I've already parted out five of these and I sold a bunch of the parts. None of the figs, but I sold a bunch of the parts. So I picked up this one uh, <clears throat> because I was going to part out, I think it's three or four that I got upstairs. Uh, and I needed, you know, I don't, anytime I part out something, I want to part out the most of one set that I can. But it's the most efficient way to do things. So, got some more of those. While I was at Walmart, I picked up some more of my minifig, uh, little bags to put my minifigs in. For my store. All right, let's see. This is where it's about to get kind of complicated. Whew, here we go, boys, girls, ladies, and gentlemen. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I believe there's a 10 somewhere. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I walked out with just nine. But if I did, it's still okay. This is 9490 Droid Escape. I've already got a bunch of these sitting on a shelf over there, I think, somewhere. But anyway, um, I'm going to part these out and guess how much they were. Hmm, want to guess? Want to guess? Nine dollars. Okay. Nine bucks. It's not bad because the last time I bought them they were 13 I believe so got these for nine dollars and that's a great price and I believe I at least bought ten I might have just bought I just bought nine I don't know they will find another one here in a minute I got so many boxes to go through all right let me set this on the floor oh now if you notice my stack behind me is not any smaller and at this time I'm recording it Many think I rival clutches stack, and I think I do because I have moved some upstairs, and that massive haul from Walmart that I made last week is all stored upstairs, also. So, on with the show. 
Galaxy Squad 7106. So, excuse me, 7706. Excuse me. Alright, this one is the Crater Creeper. I picked up a bunch last week. And I am about to get to where I want to start parting out 10 of each set. And not just the five that I've been doing. I'm not ready to make that jump yet on every set. But when I'm dwindle this down back here, that's probably going to be my goal is 10 of every set. But in this time, I picked up five because I've already got a bunch of these upstairs. And these will be going upstairs to join the crew upstairs. But so I can't even tell you how many I've got now. It's over 10. So anyway, I got my partner over here sitting on the floor reading the Lego Club magazine. He might get trampled by Lego sets in a this is going to be a long video, I can tell. Sorry, guys. 70701. All right, Swarm. Oh, yeah, that was only $9. That last set I showed you was $9. This one is a Swarm Interceptor. And again, $9. And again, I picked up a lot of these last week. So, boom. But last week, I paid something like $5.50 for them. But this one, I marked them down $2 more. They originally marked down, I think, 11 or 13 or something like that. And they moved them to $9.00. And I said, well, sure, I'll take some. Can't complain. So there, five more at nine bucks pop. Oh boy, I've got Lego everywhere. Y'all like my shirt? It says Dead Fish Stink. Oh, hey, I found the other Star Wars set. I knew I got 10. No, I didn't, that's not it. Lock 10, tanker truck. One. I think all I got was three, but I've got a bunch of them up there. You can't see them right now, but they're way up there, and this gives me well enough to part out. So, three more of those. They were nine dollars each. Great price. This one, nine dollars. Nine dollars is the magic number today at Walmart. Uh, lowest I paid up for it up to this point was like 11 bucks, 10 50 something like that. But I got it for $9. Not bad. Superman's Lex Armor. This one was at the second Walmart I went to. I paid only one time other, I paid cheaper. I've got a bunch of these already from the Black Friday sales at Walmart. I paid 13 no wait, 11 I think I paid $11 each for this. 11 I paid 10, no, it was 13, there it is right there. 13. I paid 10 50 for them at Thanksgiving, so I bought three more <coughs> to go with my other massive stack of them to do, which are down there somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna have so much to organize when I get through this. Command you can't. Hey, my battery's blinking. That's not good. I'll be right back. Let me change my battery out. All right, I'm back. No, I'm not. Gotta fix the light. I don't know where I put those other books at. Are they down on the bottom shelf? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Now I'm back, and I want my son to find what the other sticker books are. There's one. I want you to find what the rest of them are, because they're either down there on that bottom shelf. Yeah, they are. All right, get those and stack them down there with them. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. My battery went dead. Uh, I had to swap it out. So anyway, what I was saying was I got this Comanche camp. I have a ton of these to part out. You remember they were marked down to, I think, 11 at most stores. This was $9 today, so... <laughs> Looks like they went through with the price gun and beep, 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 zipped everything down to $9, which is awesome for me. This goes where I told you to take it. Right yep, whenever you get through doing the books. Now, if you saw me post these on Instagram, I had a lot of reaction on Instagram about these sets. Uh, you got a decent price on those. You know, I'll. I'm going to tell you what it was. I got three of these, which this one looks like it got wet or something, but I don't care. I'm pulling it out. All right. This is a 9488 Elite Clone Trooper and Commander Droid Pack. You know how much I paid for these three each, okay? $2 each, folks. 
I have never seen a savings like that on a Star Wars set. Two dollars. Uh, and there was three of them. So, these are going to be parted out and put in my store. And I've got some to part out that are over in that corner. So this will have to go in a minute over there. Next up. Galaxy Squad. I've got several of these smaller sets already in my stash to part out. I believe I only walked away with three of them. Let's see here. If I find another one in a minute, I will let you know. But it looks like it's just these three. All right, these are $7 a piece. Not a huge savings. I mean, they're what everybody's paying for them all over the country. But I had four or five of them over there to part out and I said why not get three more so we got those now next these awesome creator set that one looks like it's been opened oh well I don't think it has sound like everything is in there creator sets I've been looking at these sitting on my shelves for the longest time at this store. I think that's all. Alright, I think that's it on those. Now, these have been marked down to five from $6.97 for the longest, and I wasn't going to get them. My very first set I parted out and put in my Bricklink store was a Creator truck. Now, these were a dollar a piece. Can you believe that, folks? A dollar a piece. So I got five of each. Ten dollars right there. A dollar a piece. So that gives me my magic five of each to part out. Whoopee. So it's not bad. Dollar a piece. There you go. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. All righty. Find somewhere to put these. Do you know where you're going to put them yet? Yeah. Hmm? Line up, line them up down in front of that uh, aquarium right there, just like we did the pick brick cups. They're in containers, so it ain't hurt. Me. They get a little wet when I'm doing water changing. Keep them all red together and all the green together. All right. Now the next is going to be kind of cool. See the bag? Into the bag. I like most of you have watched these things sit on the shelf for the longest. At $4.98, $4.97, whatever Walmart's magic number is. And the lowest I've ever seen them marked down to was $3.97. And that's it. So, you want to know what price I paid for these? I got the rabbit, the poodle, all from Series 2, and the hedgehog. That's the three that I was able to pick up today. One dollar each. One dollar each. Okay. I know it's nothing to get all excited about, but it does have some cool accessories in there. And anytime I can find Lego at a dollar a piece, I'm gonna buy every bit of it. So, dollar a piece. I don't know how many I got of each one. I haven't gone through to see yet. I'm not even gonna count it on camera. Next is this bag. This is gonna get kind of messy. Okay. So just follow me with this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stuff's falling everywhere. So, what did I find today? Z95 Headhunter Polybag. One dollar. Two, three, four, five. All right, I found two. Now, I think somebody either bought a lot of these or they're in another whole stash somewhere because they had a ton of these forever. And I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. They're a dollar a piece. This is Gandalf's. Poly bag from the Hobbit, the first Hobbit series. There's only two there. More than likely, what I'll do is I'll put this in a giveaway spot and give one to my son for working with me today. And then I found one Series 10 fig. You know, I scraped that store and I bought everything they had. I don't know which one it is yet. Have you checked it? Let's see which one it was. I can't remember. I can't tell which one it is. It might be the parachute guy. I feel something like a helmet. But anyway, uh, skydiver. Might be. I don't know. I'll cut it up in a little while. All right. Got that for a dollar. I found, I think, four series, movie Lego movie series figs. They had a whole box. Was it just two? No, here's another one. Three. It might have been three, but I thought it was four. Anyway, they had a whole box, and then a week since I last been there, 
somebody emptied out the whole box and I didn't know they were there. But so I got three of those. And then I don't even know how many of these I got. These were a dollar. Oh wait, two dollars, excuse me. These were marked down to two dollars. Series eleven at this store was marked down to two dollars. And my son and I dug through every crate and cranny and found let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it looks like we found those from the other store. It looks like it's, we're going to end up with 15 Series 11 figs for $2 each. So, today was my lucky day at Walmart. I usually don't have this type of luck where I'm at on Walmart sales. And I do want to thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, and sharing. Uh, stay tuned uh, to the channel as I grow to give for more giveaways. I think I'm going to have one by the time you see this. It might already aired. I'm going to do a giveaway. I've reached a thousand subscribers at the time I'm recording this. And I do want to thank everybody in the community for subscribing, liking, sharing, and watching. And check me out on BrickLink, Brick Isle, Instagram, at BrickStackers, on Twitter, at BrickStackers. Like, share, comment. Thank you. Until next time, y'all, continue to stack those bricks. See y'all. Bye-bye.